Cristiano Ronaldo returns to Old Trafford on Tuesday for the Match Day 3 Champions League encounter for group supremacy between United and Juventus. Shaka, who's this a bigger game for, United or Juventus? Uh, without question, this is a bigger game for Manchester United. As much as what, two weeks ago we were speculating around the future of, of Jose Mourinho and whether results against Newcastle would be enough to save his job, in the end um, it was. A couple of late goals from, from uh, Manchester United in, in, in that regard. And then the response I, I thought was probably the best 45 minutes we've seen from, from Manchester United in quite some time at Stamford Bridge, Jose Mourinho's old team. Still, I, I feel this, is, this United team is a long way away from um, being anywhere near their best or, or what people expect them to. On the other hand, you look at this Juventus side, um, who've strengthened in the, in the form of Cristiano Ronaldo with one intention only, and that is to, to win the Champions League. And as much as there is talk and speculation that continues to swirl around this game for a, any number of reasons, I just feel in terms of the personalities, in terms of the characters, Juventus are better suited to manage any speculation, any stories, any sidebars that, that, that you want to go on, whereas I still feel, as you look at, at Manchester United, there's just too many unanswered questions that continue to swirl around around their players. I feel it's, it's a, it's, it's, it may prove to be too big an occasion for some of those United players. Juventus, this is just par for the course for them. We saw them perform very well in England last year in the Champions yeah. League, so one would think that they have the capability to, as you mentioned, manage the occasion perhaps better. Will the result or the performance that Manchester United delivered at the weekend help them? Do you think it will give them an improved feeling? It, it, it has to help, and, and more so the second half performance. And that's been my continuing concern with Manchester United. They've looked better when coming from behind, when having to chase and, and almost throw caution to the wind. You saw that against Newcastle. You, you saw that in, in the second half performance uh, against Chelsea after going behind. If Manchester United start that brightly from the offset, I think they give themselves a chance. The trouble is, I just feel that on the occasions that they've done, and I, my, my mind harks back to the, the Spurs game, where they played on the front foot and tried to take the game to the opposition, they've kind of lost their own control and, and, and discipline. So it's a, a strange existence in, 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 in that regard for, for Manchester United. When they have maintain a, a control and discipline, they have no real attacking punch to it. And players seem out of, uh, seem to be playing in a manner that doesn't suit them. Uh, yet, when they have to chase things, when they have to go for it, for, for instance, I thought, I thought we saw by far Paul Pogba's best 45 minutes in, in a United shirt. Martial, Rashford, answering the questions that we've been asking of them for, for, for quite some time. But it comes when they're having to chase the game. And in the end, they probably deserve the three points based on that second half performance. But uh, Chelsea did to United as they've been doing to, to so many, scored late on. I'm not so sure that although Juventus is going into this game of favourites, are the United faithful really going to be happy for United to sit and try and break at home? I don't think they will. I think that, that means that they will try and come out. And that means danger because Juventus, absolute masters of the counter-attack. And while I agree with the fact that Juventus is dangerous in the counter-attack, I do think that when you see the second half of Manchester United against Chelsea, you want more of that. You want a team that is willing to take chances going forward, that is willing to press teams, that is willing to take risks. When they do that, they have good enough players to cause problems for everybody else. Chelsea, all of a sudden, their possession of the ball was long gone. All that beautiful possession that people are talking about, it was gone because Manchester United stepped their lines up. They were winning the ball in good areas. They were attacking. They were dictating the pace of the game. At some point, Manchester United, if they evaluate when they have done well this season, they have to look at themselves and say, it's when we're willing to play on the other half. Not just waiting for teams, but actually test teams defensively. When they've done that, they created problems. I think they should go ahead and do that are, the rest of the year. You're absolutely licking your chops if you're a leg. If you really think that this is how Mourinho's going to set his stall out, and, and yes, at times they've looked well going forward, but this is, this is meat and drink for a team like Juventus. Well, and the truth is, the truth is, at times they've gone forward, like the second half at Chelsea, and looked, and looked apart. The majority of the time, 
They haven't when they've tried to go forward and they've thrown goals in the back of the net. So, so if you want to be positive, yes, take what you can from Chelsea. But unfortunately, if they're going to try and do that at home against Juventus, hey, if I'm Juventus, I'm licking it's my simple chops. simple answer to that. They're not. They're not. I mean, I know uh, Ali's right, I mean, but they're not. By, by his very nature, yeah. <laughs> that's, that, that, that may happen as the game progresses, but it'll be kind of, it'll just happen like it did at the weekend where Chelsea were, um, started, they, look, they, they look flustered, but he won't, he's never going to do that from the start of the game, never. There's been a lot of questions in there, Mark, about the style that Mourinho has employed at United, but the boys are right, aren't they? Tomorrow isn't the time to go against that and try and play some flair football because Juventus, let's face it, they're no Newcastle and they're no Chelsea. This is a world-class side. Absolutely, and I think, you know, there's been some classic United Juventus games at Old Trafford over the years, you know, going back to the 90s when this was a Champions League semi-final. These, these are really big games, but, you know, Juventus have come and they've restored the reputation in recent years. And I think, you know, United on a European, on a big European, that will always go at a team. They'll just be urged on by the crowd, but they just can't defend. You know, they conceded two against Newcastle, two against Chelsea, and, you know, with Ronaldo back at Old Trafford, I, I think Juventus will score at least twice on, on Tuesday night, so that means United have to score two or three to win. I just don't see it happening. I think, I think Lukaku's not consistent enough up front. I think if Sanchez had been playing to anything like his potential or was fit, I'd play him through the middle because Lukaku's just not doing enough. He, he's just not doing enough to warrant his place, but he's going to have to play against Juventus. Rashford, great for England, less so for United. Martial, still inconsistent. I just think United have got problems all over the pitch. They've got, they've got a lot of quality, certainly going forward, but defensively, they're just, they're just not there. And it, the, the bad defence puts too much pressure on the forwards and the midfielders to deliver beyond their possibilities at times. And I think Juventus will, will come to Old Trafford on Tuesday and probably win comfortably, like the guys say.